Hey, Jay West here alongside Mac East from the We Get Dub podcast. Have you ever listened to a podcast and thought, I could do it better than those guys? Damn right. Well, Anchor's the place for you. It's a free app that has creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. You can also add music. You can add sound effects. It's real dope. Also, Anchor will distribute your podcast so it can be heard on multiple platforms such as Spotify and iTunes. You could also make money from your podcast with no minimum. It's basically everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So take it from us, download the free Anchor app, or go to anchor.fm to get started. Yeah, nah, this is how we go down. Let's get it. Are we going to be like, well, what right do you have to talk about anime? Straight blows to the gut with blood shooting out their mouth. I love those. I just, I want to see motherfuckers get hurt. Coming to you live. Oh. And I will probably pick the dub 90% of the time. Fuckos. I don't give a fuck, fuck you and whatever you say, that shit can be gangsta as fuck and it's anime, eat my ass, eat my dick, I don't give a fuck who you are. That shit almost killed me, man. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the first ever We Get Dub podcast. I would like to introduce myself, I am Jay West, sitting next to the always handsome Mac East. What up nerds, it's me, Mac East. Um, Today, uh... <laughs> is the genesis of a mess that we're going to try to figure out what the fuck we're doing. Um, I guess what the goal for this podcast or whatever you call this shit is, we're just going to pretty much talk about anime and how shitty things are and things we like. And um, I'm pretty sure a bunch of you nerds are probably going to be like, well, what right do you have to talk about anime? We're also here to shatter all those stereotypes. We also got... 25 years of anime experience been watching that shit since before you most of you fucking weebs was born yeah word but uh <laughs> i mean for me i don't know about you it all started for me with tsunami uh actually for me i think the first anime i really watched like on the on, on the regular was sailor moon yeah i would yep. wake up at like 6 30 in the morning for school i'd watch sailor moon I don't know who didn't watch that. <laughs> I think everyone, and Tuxedo shit, Man was that guy. That shit was epic, man. I, I, I wanted to bang Sailor Mars. I don't know if this counts as an anime, but I know it was definitely a Japanese animation. Uh, Mummy's Alive. It, it had it had the feel to it. It Because the then, if we're talking about that, then you could go with SWAT Cats. Well, you know what? When I growing up, even before TV, I was watching VHS as a fucking Voltron. And fucking yeah, loving I was, that uh, shit. Man. Actually, I have a... Hagar? Uh, Whew. Voltron, Thundercats, Thundercats, Gundam. I actually looked up Thundercats. It's actually Japanese animated, but it's American made. Really? Yeah. So they got a bunch of Japanese animators to animate it, but it's actually all American. Wow. So I mean, some of my, I guess, background of anime would go from you know like stuff from like Evangelion. I probably butchered that. Uh, Dragon Ball Z, obviously. Dragon Ball Super. Dragon Ball itself. Uh, GT, Bleach, Goblin Slayer, Death Note, Attack on Titan, uh, Pokemon, regardless, that that's oh. that's the one that fucking opened the floodgates. Right after Sailor Moon, it was Pokemon for me. I And I, I remember the first episode I ever saw was the Clefairy episode. Clefairy, yep. And I had no idea what the fuck was going on. I remember watching the, the, the theme song and being like... Why are they throwing these fucking balls at these monsters? <laughs> and I had I had no idea what the fuck I was in for. The first Pokemon episode I think I saw was uh there there was something happening and there was a Charizard and another Charizard and they were like clones of Pokemon. It was this weird episode. And I was like, "All right, this is kind of cool." And then I just got wrapped up in the show. Yeah, I remember I not that not to be that guy, but I was like one of the first kids in my class to really fucking love Pokemon. I was like telling everybody this that day the Clefairy episode. I ran to school. I was like, "You guys all gonna watch fucking Pokemon?" And they were like, "What is that?" I'm like, "I don't know." <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. It's pretty watch fucking Pokemon cool, though. <laughs> I was like so against it. I don't know why I didn't like it. Uh, I remember I didn't like anime in a sense because I thought it was disgusting. Like I just because I had a bad memory because I remember I walked in and my mom was watching um, Akira, and Akira 
is like pretty fucking gross at some points. Like, and I just remember I walked into the living room, and it was a scene where like his fucking arm is like exploding. I actually never saw Akira. It, it's really gross. It's a dope movie, but like for a kid, I was like I don't know, like eight or nine, and I'm seeing this guy's arm just like. It was this monstrosity, and it was, like, all this stuff happening. It was the most disgusting thing I'd seen as a kid. I was like, oh, I can't watch anime. Yeah, see, for me, that was the thing about anime that I loved. It was so fucking weird, man. And I, I loved all that shit. I, Dragon Ball Z. I remember the first time seeing that shit, I was like, I don't understand what the fuck is going on, but it's awesome. Dragon Ball Z is one of the most ridiculous of the anime because literally the fate of the Earth is settled in a fist fight. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's... And it gets old a little bit, but when you, it was dope when I was a kid, man. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. Piccolo was that guy. There was nothing more intense. Like I remember running home from school to go watch that shit every Dude, day. Every day, five o'clock. I would have dinner, and even my grandmother got involved in that shit because I would just have it on during dinner. Her favorite character was actually Piccolo. Yeah. And uh, dude, the Cell Saga. Well, that was a big part of like after school for me. I'll never forget Goku running on the fucking. Snake Way? Snake Way. Yeah. For like the 100 episodes. Of these episodes. And I, I remember, I didn't give a fuck. I was, every day, I was like, yo, I gotta, I gotta watch Goku. I gotta see him get the goddamn King Kai ready. And Ooh. I was just so, uh Believe it or not, the first time I seen unedited Dragon Ball Z was with you. And I didn't realize that they called Hercule Mr. Satan. And there was all this, like, 666 stuff. And, like, HFIL was actually hell. And I was like, what's going on? And there was blood. And you were like, yeah, no, this is what real Dragon Ball looks like. Yeah, well, you know, our guy Pinball, he he was a lot older than us. Yes. He would he would get the Japanese video. He was super into it too. He he was even in the fucking Salem with a Pokemon with me. Fucking shout out to Pinball. <laughs> but he fucking yeah, he would get all these videos from the bootleg places or places in fucking Manhattan, and we'd watch all the like Broly movies, all the movies that weren't on ever. They were never on Toonami. I never got to watch the movies. And yeah, they weren't on Toonami for some reason. I but don't know watching them later on as an adult, they were really bad. They blow ass. <laughs> like, <laughs> I I actually... But Broly is the 90s, man. We'll talk just about this. Fucking I, jacked for no reason. Yeah, we're, we're straying off time. I hate non-canon anime movies. We're definitely going to watch a few and talk about how shit oh, they are. We have to. But, I mean, going back to more of our background and stuff like that... um. Did you ever watch a uh, Helsing? I don't remember. It's um basically where it's Alucard the in like he works. I don't for, think so. Mm. I watched Vampire Hunter Z. I never seen that, but I always wanted to. I think I only had a movie of it. I I, I think I there I, I I used to watch that shit all the time, but I can't. I think it was a movie. Yo, Yu Yu Hakusho. That was dope. That oh, was a little later God. though. That was when Toonami started hitting like seven o'clock at night, and no, it got I'm, a little more adult. Yeah, I used On to Saturdays. watch. No, it, it would it would be later at night, I think. Yeah, you, well, maybe it was later than seven, but it was definitely that was when Toonami started getting more adult. Yu Gi Oh, I don't care. Yu Gi Oh is dope. Yu Gi Oh is dope. That was part of my Saturday morning uh, lineup. Yeah, the Saturday morning uh, animes were cool. I, oh, I just Fox Fox had it locked down, man. Pokemon, yeah, they did. For Pokemon a while. moved over there. Yeah, no, no, it was the WB. Oh, you're right. They had. Uh, Well, sorry for the little hiccup there, a uh, little technical difficulty right there. The but, old um, ball and chain. <laughs> the old ball and chain. So Call me that. the WB had anime kind of on a lot because they, they were doing Pokemon. They were doing Yu-Gi-Oh. Were they doing Pokemon too? Yeah, I, I think so. I and uh, They had like a little block and they, they, they different. I forgot what it was called. They also had One Piece, um, which people make all make fun of the, the, one, the four kids version of one piece because they like edited a bunch of shit like really they turned sanji because he's always smoking they turn the cigarettes into fucking lollipops and it's weird <laughs> they fucking, yeah it was they censored because that uh, one piece gets bloody and cra it gets crazy and they fucking censored the shit out of it um i, I and really, it's like a big joke now I, I think the censorship is a little ridiculous just you know well four kids was notorious for that i don't i Probably even Pokemon was like... Dude, did you ever see the original, like, season zero of Yu-Gi-Oh? No. There's, like, guns and shit. Well, I heard Joey pulls out a gun or some shit or gets a gun pulled on yeah, him. Yeah, this guy, <laughs> that, like, in a story, pulls a gun on Joey and it gets fucking real. Yeah, I gotta see that one day. Oh, Ultimate Muscle? That was Ultimate Muscle. Saturday mornings. Oh, my God. I, that's impossible to find, man. 
I'd like to have my rice with my cow, 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 yeah, something like that. Beautiful show. Good so, show. Uh, Kevin, Mask. Kevin Mask. Kevin fucking Mask. That was my guy. The DMP. Oh, yeah. man. That shit was fucking... I think the last episode I watched, it was like a cage match, and he was wrestling a guy that was a phone. Yeah, that was not great. <laughs> <laughs> some of the some of the figures... You know, that it's like One Piece, too. These... In anime, is, they get a little crazy with the character designs. Uh, they think it's funny. I don't know why. <laughs> I, I guess you got to try to stand out. He would actually call people's parents and shit. I, I, I think he like... Yeah, he, he used his dad's voice or something. Yeah, yeah, was he, weird. Would turn in, he would use their voices to... Yeah, that was not good. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely wasn't. But uh, we also have... Let's see. Um, what have we, Seven Deadly Sins. Have you ever checked that out? I did not like it. Yeah, it, it didn't really grow on me at all. Um, the Berserk. I love Berserk. The original anime from like the 90s was not the greatest. Um the movie remakes were okay at best. I, uh, yeah, I just realized today while reading the manga that we watched that shit drunk once and I completely forgot until today. Have you ever seen High School of the Dead? No, nah, I don't even know what that High is. High School of the Dead is ridiculous and we're gonna watch, we have to watch that. We have to watch that together. It's absurd. Prison High School. Prison High School is hilarious. That is one of the, that's the funniest anime I've ever seen. It, it's I legitimately, re- it's I so reckless. Really, I, well, well, I think we're going to do an episode about the pervy characters and shit. I don't usually like that shit, but Prison High School. Oh, there's a. Oh, my God. Nails well, it. then that we got my. So you want to talk about pervy characters? My Hero Academia, Master Dragon Ball. Yeah, piece of fucking shit. scumbag. It's actually. Years ago, I stopped watching kind of because of We'll talk about that shit, but I. That's part of it. Because it's just not funny either. Like, if it was funny, it'd be one. It's like. It's like. In Japan, they still. Watch movies like Porky's and shit, you know, like that shit. It's, it's like, weird. It's really weird. We're past that shit. Those jokes ain't funny. No one more. thing I cannot wait for that I'm extremely excited about, um, and one thing I want to touch on right now is Castlevania. One, I love that game. Two, it's probably one of my favorite animes of all time. That's right, Weebs. We call that shit anime. Yeah, I don't <laughs> give a fuck. Fuck you and whatever you say. That shit's gangsta as fuck, and it's anime. Eat my ass, eat my dick. I don't give a fuck who you are. By the way, that's the next episode is Castlevania. Ah, well, <laughs> I, I don't know if we're going to binge it or if we're going to do a review episode to episode, but uh, maybe, I cannot wait. Yeah, we'll figure out how to do a format when we watch Depending it. on how long the season is. Um, yeah, we'll also, drink a few drinks, we'll talk about each episode after it, and then we'll kind of put it all together. Maybe. I really, I mean, is there anything you're waiting for in particular that you're excited about? For anime? For an- anime, like a movie or a season, because I-, I know I'm ready for the next episode. I'm waiting for Goblin Slayer. I'm waiting for that One Piece dub because apparently I just found out that it's not finished. The dub, uh, it's not caught up. Really? And I uh, that, that, still that shattered movies. my that shattered my uh, existence for a couple of days because I'm almost caught up, and I'm like fucking 400 episodes behind the Japanese. Yeah, that's like me and Bleach. I'm still watching Bleach. I, I'll never catch up. But One Piece is like 900. At least, it's like episode 900 right now. So episode sure. 9. That's absurd. But I mean... It's a, it, it is 20 year anniversary this year. That's that's crazy. Yeah, so Funimation like slacked, but now they're trying to like catch up. Also, um, Attack on Titan. Yeah, that, that should be coming soon. That should definitely be coming soon. But I'm really more worried about Goblin Slayer. That was a stutter. I, uh... I started reading the manga. For Goblin Slayer? Yeah, they, there seems to be a lot more than the anime. So I want to read the year one. So I don't know what the fuck's going on with the anime. I know a lot... It didn't win a lot of awards and shit, in the, and at least in American award shows, because, you know, it's rapey and shit, people... You know, yeah, well, they love that shit. Well, in Japan, they don't like it here. So, like, a lot well, of... Also, in Japan, they don't like, like, beheadings, and we always cut people's heads off and shit. Yeah, they, uh, they... I know it wasn't popular here. Um, in a lot of ways, from what I read on the internet and shit, but I, I Goblin Slayer is pretty dope. I am definitely a fan of Goblin Slayer. I mean, I think that overall covers like a little bit of our backstory and shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, this is probably episode zero. Like I said, the genesis of what we're trying to figure out and accomplish, work out some of the bugs, and just get our first episode out there. So, uh, here's a question. Uh, Go for it. Dopest scene in an anime. Dopest scene in an seen. anime. Wait, wait. Oh, that's a tough one. Cause right now I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna my answer, I'm not going to go with the one I've most recently been in love with, One Piece. I'm gonna stick with the one that's hit me most of my life. I that's tough because most of my life, I don't know, because I'm gonna I, you know what? I'm gonna go safe and I'm gonna go with the one I like the most right now. And honestly, 
it's um Vegeta ascending Super Saiyan Blue two in the Tournament of Power. In uh, in my personal opinion, I was really super hyped for the dub to come out, and I was like, "Yo, this is gonna be amazing." Chris Saban, he's gonna kill it, and he failed me, and ah, I was very disappointed. Me, we're gonna we nah. talk about that. And, and yeah, but in Japanese, it I felt that shit. I felt that scene, and it was epic. But yeah, I I liked that scene. I didn't understand where it was coming from so much. Uh, it kind of. I love Vegeta. I thought his arc was the best in all of Super. I hate that. Super's about him. Super is about him. He gets he gets he he gets the shit stick in is that the term? <laughs> yeah, the, the shit end of the stick. I <laughs> the think shit that's... end of the stick in that in that show because he should have been the fucking one beating Jiren, man. He was badass. Goku doesn't fight for shit. Fuck Goku. Um But Yeah, the blue I I just didn't understand where the, where his extra power was coming from in that moment. I thought it was dope, but I was like at the same time it's like Dragon Ball Z just we're getting stronger shit out of nowhere. Um it's it's I liked it though. I, I did. Well, I it was just him being well rounded as a character, like how far he came, and him being like, "No, I'm not gonna settle for just being like." A lot of Vegeta's arc is just around him always being so angry and trying to catch up to Goku, and that's why he never catches up. And this was him like catching up for a real reason, like to save his family and to save the world. Well, I think like that. yeah, that's why I thought it was dope because it's, it's Vegeta finally finding his strength is like in his family because he yeah. was only getting stronger for himself the whole Z. Yeah, and Quit, he finally has something to fight for, and he and it it he taps into it, and I think that works. I just it didn't. I would have liked that brought out a little more in in that moment. So I mean, I personally just want a, a side note about Vegeta. I like Z Vegeta. I like the voice acting better than now Vegeta. You're talking about Japanese or no, 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 no. I'm talking about dub. Uh, Chris Saban's original work where he sounded kind of raspy or whatever. Like, he yeah, sounded more, I, I guess, because he was more of a villain. Yeah, yeah, he was playing it up for a little more villain. But, um, yeah, what's your favorite scene? Uh, it's probably Z2, just because, obviously, that's the shit we grew up on. Yeah, is it, is it Super Saiyan 3? By far the most epic. No, nah, it was um, Gohan's fucking father, son, Kamehameha, the wow. beat cell. You know what's crazy? That that's shit, one of the, like, I hate that one the most. That shit almost killed me, man. With the one hand and everything, oh my god. I, I just... I was, I was jumping up and down when I watched that shit as a kid. I really felt Teenager, that... Teenager, nah, I wasn't even a fucking kid. I was, I was damn near a grown-ass man. That's crazy, because I didn't like the fact that they had to put Goku in it. I, he... It's questionable whether he's actually even there or not. It It's... It's an image that... That is kind of been redone a million times in video games and stuff like that so it looks cool with his, with Goku behind him but I, I think I think personally that it was just Gohan and his raw fucking power taking out Cell with one fucking arm which is why I love it yeah no that was cool and just I like the whole the end of the Cell games yeah I didn't like that the Cell games drags in the beginning oh of course they, but that was that was, they were building hype I, the end was kind of weird for me I didn't like that he came back and then came back in Super Saiyan 2 Cell like just because he's like oh I died now I'm just as strong as you he is saying though he's got the genetics whatever but the that, fuck the, that the is the Kamehameha blo- like oh my god yeah it, that the one handed man it's it's classic and it's they've redone it a million times in video games and shit shows you how fucking iconic that scene is but yeah, watching that live, well, not live, but, you know, watching it new at the time for, you know, American audiences was fucking, I lost my mind. Lost my goddamn mind. Yeah, well, uh, I don't know. My, Just because this, Cell was so beast, too, like, he was, and he was scared of Gohan, which yeah, made he was more awesome. I, I think one of my favorite Kamehameha's is the, uh, the teleport Kamehameha. Where that's Goku's great, doing it. That's a great one. And Cell's like, yeah, nah, this is how we go down. Let's get it. And then Goku just shows up and he's like, no, bitch, I'm going to just end your life. Yeah. Like, and that was crazy because That Kamehameha Goku... could have destroyed the earth is what they were saying, which is why he teleported and shot it up. But what the, the fucked up part is, it's like Goku legitimately tried to murder Cell. Like, he wasn't trying to beat him no more. He was like, nah, I gotta kill you. Yeah, and that's rare for Goku. He usually likes to play with his fucking opponents. Yeah, he went straight for the kill with that, which Although was Frieza, epic. too, he, he, towards the end, definitely, he fought, Well, he only showed up at the end of that, but... Yeah, he was ready to kill Frieza right away. Mm-hmm. But then didn't, and backed out, and was like, here, I feel bad for you. Rookie move. Yeah, Goku's the worst. 
Goku's definitely the worst. Like, he, I don't understand why he does half the stuff he does, but, I mean, that's a lot of anime protagonists. Yeah, I, and I, like I said, I'm watching One Piece now. There's probably a million scenes recently I've watched that were fucking epic, but it because they haven't sat with me as long as that moment, I, I'm definitely going to pick that one. Yeah, because, well, I mean, also, it's probably one of the more iconic moments. It, I don't know, in... M- I, would you say modern anime? Not modern anime, but like of our generation. Yeah, yeah. Well, because now we're in a new era of anime where it's a little more. I mean, Master Roshi had to clean up his perverted acts as well. I mean, <laughs> oh my god, that was ridiculous. So anime is in a little bit of a different place. Master Roshi. I've never liked Master Roshi until recently with the Tournament of Power, where he was he was a pretty big beast. He's dope in Dragon Ball. Um, and, oh, when he's like teaching the command may shooting at cars and shit. His hit when he fights um Goku as Jackie Chun that fight is <laughs> awesome it's awesome it's just crazy because if you think about the original Kamehameha that Master Roshi teaches and then what the Kamehameha is now it's ridiculous yeah i mean we'll probably talk about it more but super i I have kind of a love-hate thing with... I, I think that there's yeah, some... We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll, th- we'll talk about it. I think it hits the comedy beats really well. And I think some of the... I do stuff... feel like the Tournament of Power is really where the Super Arc found its niche. Because I feel like the Super Arc was just... In the, in the beginning, it was just kind of a mess. And they were trying to find their, their place. It was a mess, yeah. There was no real villain. I mean, Frieza shows up and he's kind of... a but... When he shows up, you're kind of like, nah, he's strong now. Who cares? Which was weird because it was originally a movie, and then they turned the movies into the show, and then incorporated, and then there was the whole Goku Black saga, which I could have really did without. That saga is booty as hell. I, I did not. I, I like Goku Black as a character, kinda like as only maybe in like the fighting game. He, yeah, but him being immortal is whack. It's so boring. Like. I know we've never seen... Like, people always, like, they're gonna wish for the fucking immortality from the Dragon Balls, and we never see it, and then we actually get to see it, but it sucks. I'm glad it hasn't happened before then. Yeah, no, because it's like, what do you do? And, yeah, honestly, I don't even remember how they win that. I, I think they just... The, the Trunks the, just gets um, stronger. No, what, what, what's his name? The uh, the Omni King shows up, and he erases the, he yeah, erases the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He... Which is crazy, because technically speaking, he erased the whole reality... Yeah. For all those yeah, people. Yeah. Yeah, the Omni... I also don't like the Omni King very much. I, I like the Omni King in Japanese, not in... I don't like the dubbed Omni King. He sounds too much like a kid, which is the point... Does he not sound like a kid in that? No, but he sounds more like a baby. He's like, oh, You know, that weird fucking... You know, the weird voice that every anime has for, like, a baby character. Like, he seems very childish. And in the dubbed version, he seems like a really smart kid. And I don't like that. That's just me. So it's kind of funny how this ended up just <coughs> um, talking about Dragon Ball Z and stuff. But I have a question for you now. What is your most overhyped fight? Uh, for me, and I, I'm sure I could probably think of a couple, even, you know. But right now, just what's coming to my mind, uh, it would have to be Deku and Overhaul, man. I was not Ooh. that thrilled with that shit. Um, That's fair. I I was so into that shit when Deku fucking, because he was pissed, man. He let fucking Overhaul's daughter, which isn't even his daughter, but he let Overhaul, I can't remember her name. He let her go back to fucking Overhaul, and there's this, like, fucking abuse angle was going like, on. There was, like, seven episodes of him being pissed. And Deku was so upset, and so was Lemillion. And then you get to Overhaul, and his power... He's turning motherfuckers to just blood. Like, he touches them and they fucking they explode. explode. And then you see him and he's just this weird kind of giant monster. I, I don't know. And it was dope when Deku could finally, like, unleash all of his fucking all for one. That yes. was awesome. But I just, the fight was, I, like, broke down into a lot of colors. It was, like, really over-animated, I thought. I would have loved to see more gritty. was weird. Yeah, I, I would have liked to have seen a more gritty fight, more just... Like a fight. Yeah, motherfuckers getting punched in the face. Like when he fought, um... When he fought All Might. When it was him and, yeah. uh... Who, I, oh my Bakugo God. and Deku versus All Might. Epic. Be- Bakugo versus 
Deku. Oh, yeah. Yo, when he was like, nah, you gotta fight me for real. Jesus Christ, that was awesome. That was a great fight. That's why this one disappointed. And I know it's like kind of mid-season right now, but that I was really looking forward to Deku overhaul just because of how upset Deku was. The build for it was ridiculous. It was so good. And that was it, really disappointing. It, it did fall apart. And I and not that I thought it was terrible, like and I was a little buzzed when we watched it, so you know maybe it's worth a rewatch. But no, I, no, 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 no. I remember feeling a little disappointed. I, it I was do. disappointing because there was a lot of good fights during that whole like that that whole uh, I don't know those last couple of episodes where they fight where they're infiltrating the Yakuza place. Yeah, everyone's got like their, oh, their match. The dude that hardens versus the guy that punches. That was awesome. That was probably the best one in that. No, episode. you're a man. That was dope. Um, yeah, that, that was a. Uh, yeah, that that's probably in recent memory that's the most disappointing to me. Yeah, that I I don't know if I I can argue that cuz I I know I wasn't happy cuz I was like, "Oh man." And then he he was going for like the United States of Smash and then there's all those fists and stuff and I'm like, "Oh, that's not as cool as I thought it was." It looked be. very much like some Luffy shit cuz Luffy does the 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 gum gum gatling and it just it's not Deku. Deku, I mean Maybe once he gets full strength, maybe he'll do some shit like that. But it didn't feel... Deku is like... It was weird. He's a hard motherfucker. He hits hard. He breaks his fucking bones. And he, if he you go gives back, his all. Remember the UA tournament? When yep. he was just flicking his finger and oh, shit was getting shit. devastated? Yep. Like, where was all that power? Yeah, if he's going all out... You... <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe Overhaul wasn't the best foil for him in that situation when he could first go. I can't wait out. till Todoroki and Deku go at it. I, That's gonna be a fight. I think it's gonna be interesting. I need to see. I need to see Deku versus like someone who could really take like just straight blows to the gut with blood shooting out their mouth. I love those. I just I want to see motherfuckers get hurt. Like it didn't look that. It was just too. Too colorful, oh, too pretty. I'm about to go the if you want to talk about motherfuckers getting hurt, I'm gonna take you back. Android 17 versus Piccolo, <laughs> when they were punching each other, mad yeah. hard in the stomach, and like you could see their fists coming out of their backs. Oh, that was a good fight. This I need a rewatch on, but in Yu Yu Hakusho, that fight in the tournament where they put the knives behind each other, where they can't move back past the oh. knives, and they're just fucking no blocking, just straight punching each other. Whoever falls past the knife loses. That's I haven't seen that in shit. a really long time. We're going to rewatch that shit for this podcast eventually for some shit we got. Yeah, I'm definitely... I When it comes to fist fights, that's, that's the shit that I like. That's why I like... Hey, Deku's a brawler. I want to see Deku brawl. I don't want to see him fly in the sky and do some weird shit. No, I do like when he's colors. like bouncing off of walls and shit. No, I love the bouncing around. That shit's dope. But I, it's just... It, it felt too pretty, man. I want, I want gritty, ugly anime fight. Oh, you want, like, for stain? Yeah, yeah, shit like that, man. Most of My Hero Academia fights, yeah, they're especially pretty with rough. Deku, were pretty brutal. And this one didn't feel brutal enough. I mean, Lemillion loses his powers, but it wasn't even because of Overhaul. Like, and I love Lemillion. And then fucking Night Eye so Night Eye died. That was dope. But it looks like a like a spoiler me alert, by the way, guys. Oh uh, yeah, we uh, well <laughs> we'll hit you with a, we'll we'll edit the spoiler alert in. I don't know. Fuck, man, fuck you guys. Oh fuck! If you didn't watch it yet, you're an asshole. But don't spoil One Piece for me, dick faces, because I am behind. Yeah, you're like years behind. Yeah, don't don't say shit. <laughs> <laughs> we will find you, weebs. Yeah, yeah, we will probably. It's not that hard. The internet's an amazing place. So I mean, I think that's a pretty good uh, introduction to what we want to do. You didn't and... do yours. Your most oh, disappointing. My most disappointing. I know. I agreed with you. Oh, so you think that was the most? Okay. Yeah, because I don't think I've felt so like like sad after fight like damn this didn't live up to the hype like at all yeah and even when it started i was like i, I, I mean got... there's been endings to fights where i've been like eh but like that whole like i was hyped i was like yo he's going 100 percent. this is gonna be reckless this dude's built like a beast and then it just ended so fast and the reason it's disappointing isn't because it wasn't like it, if it was a regular fight i would have been fine with it but the it, it's the setup like you asked in the question when you see Deku just give him overhaul that stare when he realizes that the little girl has these fucking marks all over her. She's got bandages all over her. That was a real... He's that was looking real. at overhaul. That was the most real shit I've ever seen in anime. He Deku saw a child who was being abused, couldn't take her away from her father because that's not some shit heroes can just do because yeah. cops can't do that shit. That's some, that's some real shit. And I was like, yo, Deku... 
is feeling some real pain right now. Like anger, pain. Like I, I felt that shit with Deku. I got goosebumps on that shit. And I just wanted Deku to destroy Overhaul. Yeah, oh. because nah, he had that look on his face like, nah, it's about to go down. It's about to go down. Like, And that's the thing that I like about Deku is he is a hero. He's all reckless. All. He's a reckless hero, but it's 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 for the good of people. He doesn't. He puts his own body, his own self. He'll put his hero ship on the line yeah. just to say he would have. If Lamilia wasn't there to stop him, he would have fought Overhaul in the streets. Maybe he would have lost his license, expelled from school. All he might have fucking got blown up in the blood. Might've, yeah, he might have just turned to blood because <laughs> apparently Overhaul can do that, even though he never did that shit when they actually started fighting him. I I think I would have loved to have seen that fist fight in the street. Yeah, that see just exactly. them coming to blows, beating the fuck out of each other. Because you know he would have been bouncing all over the alley, kicking him in the face. But overall, was ready to turn him into a puddle. Like he was like, oh well, it's about that time. And, it, and you did feel that pain, like he's because the girl's like, no. And then when she goes with him, yeah, it's like that's something that. Never really hit on my hero academia for me before. Was that was that feeling of like real sadness and disgust and anger all in one? One piece it's is really good angle. at that. It's a rough angle. It's Dragon Ball it's Z child abuse. has it's never child done abuse. it. But it's just that the feeling you I got in that moment was like special. And and then the, for the fight to not and may, who knows maybe overhaul escapes. Maybe they have a badass fight later at the end of the season. I don't know. I don't no, know. they. I think they made up for when you know. I. I don't know. I did. No. Nah, yeah, with the spoilers. Because I don't know who where it's gonna go from there. Uh, I. I know there's still the the league of villains and all that shit, but I. I, I feel like, overall, we've not seen the last of him. No way. No way. No way. But um, all right. Like I was saying before. Definitely think this was a successful first episode. Not bad. It flowed pretty well. It flowed I... pretty well, I think. We got some of our, you know, the ideas going. Uh, you assholes have an idea of what we're trying to do. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're going to talk. We're going to hit certain topics each episode. We'll talk about pervy characters for one episode. We'll talk, all different archetypes. We'll talk about... Fucking protagonist hair. Yeah, Vegeta not getting his due and those kind of characters in yeah, anime. I, yeah, that, that's Shonen. a big thing. The over... The sidekick. The... Not sidekick, but the... the the secondary character who never gets to burn, no matter what. Yeah. Um, uh, which is usually the angry character. Yeah. I mean, yeah, definitely. Um, well, we got we got some real cool fucking tournament shit coming up. We'll discuss that when, you know, when you guys become a bigger audience. Because um, there's going to be a lot of work. Um, we're going to watch some live action fucking anime remakes and shit on those. It's going to be fucking gonna terrible. Shit all over those. For the, I, I think for the Dragon Ball Z movie, I'm going to have to do a drunk. No, we'll get bombed. We'll record the whole fucking watch. We'll shit on it. We'll play drops <laughs> of our fucking shit on it as we watch it. We'll Please. discuss it later. We'll Please. review it. Those are going to be a lot of fun, even though it's going to be hell for us to watch. Yeah, that, I'm the, the fucking the hair slide. We might even hit. We might even hit Avatar just because. Why not? We'll do a few of those. That we'll, movie was ass. We'll do some non-canon anime movies. Um, we'll shit on those too, probably. Um, although maybe we can get some cool fights out of them or something. Who knows? Um, because the one, the the uh, My Hero movie, the first one wasn't so bad. Uh, there was some dope shit in that. I would like to watch the second one. Yeah, we gotta check out the second one. We'll, yeah. we'll definitely check out the second one and talk about it for this podcast. Um, that was awkward. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, that was good. That was good. Um, yeah, so that's that's probably the gist of what we're gonna do. We're just gonna talk anime. Uh, oh, we're gonna fucking we're gonna at the end of each episode, we'll do a dub versus sub. Listen, we'll listen to a dub version of a scene. We'll listen to a sub version of a scene, the same mm. scene, and then we'll discuss which one we think is better. And I will probably pick the dub ninety percent of the time. Fuckos. That's true, that's true, <laughs> that's yeah, that's that's fair. Cause I, I, you know, just from the name, we get dubbed, you know. Cause... But this guy does like to be for 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 all you out there. He does watch sub. Yes, he does watch sub. Um, I, I do not. Hands down, Attack on Titan subbed is way better. There's so much more passion. So much more passion. We'll see. We'll do a few of those scenes. We'll all right. Bring I... the scenes. We'll watch them, and I'll Absolutely. say you're wrong. <laughs> all right. So fuckheads, it's J West. Mac East. And we are out, this bitch. I'm going to probably go masturbate to some hentai. And I will not do that. Although, maybe.
Yo, Jeff. Yo, I'm in. I can't listen to you said you're in? I'm in this here recording. All right. Finish.